People are saying, look, we need accelerated pathways for approval. Rare and orphan diseases are, are different than common disorders. You, you, you know, the idea of designing a clinical trial for 300 participants or 500 participants just doesn't fly in a disease that may have approximately 5,000 patients worldwide. So how can you possibly come up with a study for 500 people? So, you, so just by looking at small populations and, and trials for small populations, for people who may be widespread globally, um, you have to look at, at things a little bit differently. Um, looking at uh, diseases that may not have uh, discrete biomarkers, that the endpoints may not be the same as they might be in a hypertension study. Uh, you just have to look at things differently. And so what's happened is people who've advocated for understand my disease, help me live my life better on a daily basis, well, that, that basically crosses over to the development of, of clinical trial design and modifying that. And regulators are now definitely taking a look at that. And, and I think that a perfect example of it is how the FDA um, under the new uh, PDUFA-5 has put allowances in there to be more patient-centric, not only in having uh, representatives from patient community be at um, an FDA advisory uh, panel, or, but, um, uh, but through the whole process and having patients be part of committees and giving input through the whole process. And the people who volunteer for those programs, they're vetted, they're, they're trained, and this is something that the FDA has, has committed to. So the patient centricity is now part of the whole process, let's say outside of regulatory, but they're also making concerted efforts to make it part of the internal regulatory process. And by doing such, I think that they are uh, doing, uh, and certainly attempting to do a much better job of educating all of the reviewers as well as the policy makers. And you even see it, you know, in the lawmakers' side. I mean, in Congress, you've got a rare disease caucus, a legislative caucus now. So you've, you've got people who are prepared or better prepared, becoming better prepared, so that when a constituent raises an issue, with a congressman or a senator, their health aides, rare diseases is on their radar. They understand it better.